Today I'm going to hike uh, up to Indian Head up there. It should take most of the day. Beautiful morning. You can't just walk up the sides. You have to go up the canyon and take a different route that's safer. Back in the day, this palm grove was huge many years ago. And there was a pretty big flood. Ouch. It's a fun hike. Look at that. Near that palm grove. I get to climb this ridge and go up there. And as you can see, it's all watch your step. It's taken me about a half an hour to get from those three palms up this ridge over here. There's me, shadow going up there. Here's the saddle. Let's take a quick peek over the other side. Beautiful. Up front center, Toro Peak at over 8,000 feet. Over there with the clouds behind it. Rabbit Peak. Ooh, beautiful. There's the canyon I came up. Well, all right, here we go. Whoa, what's it now? Yeah, I'm gonna go dangle my feet over the edge there. The little town of Borrego Springs. Uh, my car is parked down there somewhere. This is far enough. Came up Borrego Palm Canyon. Came up a ridge to a saddle through a boulder field to the top. And now I'm out here hanging on to the, uh, <laughs> the edge here. Pretty amazing. I finally made it. Now I gotta make it down. You climb up, you have to climb down. You can't just walk. Well, <clears throat> I have to admit, this is a pretty sick and twisted hike. I mean, I'm glad I did it, but uh, will I do it again? After just over seven hours of hiking, I've got about an hour and a half or two hours to get back down out. Oh. Look at all the nice little caves. Well, here I am. <clears throat> that took almost exactly nine hours. Bring lots of water if you try it. At least a gallon. Hiking poles. Uh, they came in handy a lot of times. Um, but they irritated me many times. Anyhow, if you try this, uh, be in really good shape, train for it, tell somebody exactly where you're going and the route and what time to be back and watch the clock. Give yourself the same amount of time to get back as it takes you to go up and enjoy.